Hey, hi everyone. Uh, we all heard about Windows Autopilot and this has been in discussion for now many years. And now these days the companies are they started using it heavily and they are slowly moving it over to Intune and they want to make use of the Autopilot capability to give the user a new experience which is which is called the, the pre-configured device, right? So when you get a device out of the box and that gets configured as you switch it on and, and log in for the first time to the company right so so in this video we're going to talk about autopilot very basics how can you set up your um, intune tenant to work with autopilot and enroll your first autopilot device into your intune tenant so we'll be configuring basic policies or basic configuration for autopilot and we will be uploading a hash file of a, device to Intune and ensure that it is assigned with the proper uh, autopilot profile and then we switch on the device and see how it's getting onboarded into our cloud domain and so on. So uh, it's, it's a very short video, so very basics. So let's get started. And to start with, uh, you now navigate to devices and then go to windows and under windows you'll have windows enrollment and under which uh, you need to you need to create a profile I already have a couple of profiles for testing so I'm going to create a new one just to showcase how this is configured right so most of the settings uh, I'm going to leave it as default because the default settings works perfectly and there are some settings which are which are um, specific to certain organizations certain you know work styles of an organization will will do that at a later stage right so for, for this video we're going to go mostly the default settings user account is going to be in standard user so it's it's nothing but like when you first enroll your device you want your account to be an administrator to the device or a standard user i'm going to configure with standard user and then there is also a, a limited option i won't say it is a very extensive option to name your device if you want to use the name template you can use them in few few choices that you have available with and then you need to assign this profile to a group and then then just go ahead and create it so there is one more setting that i think uh, i missed to configure so let's let's reconfigure that in a minute so you'll have to go to properties and uh, in the basics you have to convert all targeted device into autopilot that configuration has to be set to yes and then save it so that's all from an autopilot profile that you need to do you have to ensure that the devices that you purchased from the reseller are all registered with your Intune tenant in order for the autopilot to function. So there are two ways that you can do it. One, you can manually register uh, as, as mentioned in this uh, article. I'll, I'll be sharing all these articles in the description for your uh, further reading. And there is another option wherein you can actually make your reseller as a partner for uploading the hash value. So what does that mean is like for example if it's an HP. So we ensure that the HP OEM has the right permission into your tenant so that they can upload the hardware hash value into the tenant. So as long as as soon as the device gets delivered to the end user and they turn it on, it will be tied against our tenant. But in this video, I'm going to create a VM and I'm going to get the hash value. And there are multiple ways that you can get the hash value. But the easiest that, easiest that I felt is just to export uh, the management log files and then then copy the CSV created part of the uh, the logs that's fairly simple so go to settings then under accounts go to access worker school and then click on export onto the management log files and then look at the path which is C uses public documents and MDM diagnostics and there is a hash CSV file you just need to copy that device hash file and then you go back to Intune again and under just next to the deployment profile you've got uh, something called autopilot devices you can upload the hash file that we just copied it from the machine and this upload process takes five to ten minutes you just you know be patient and um, so once it is uploaded we need to ensure that these devices are all part of the targeted group that we created that will be the next step once the import is success so just go back to the autopilot devices and then add these 
please add these imported devices into it and then wait for the right profile to be assigned to these devices so you go back to the devices again you can see that uh, now it's assigned so now we've done all the configuration from the from an Intune tenant perspective now we can turn on the device from where we collected uh, the hash value again once you collect the hash value you have to reset the device which I've done it in, in, in the background so I'm not capturing that reset process because it is nothing but a normal reset of any device so, and then I'm starting it like I received it from a uh, hardware reseller okay so choose the initial few settings which region and the, the keyboard lay layout that you want to choose between and um, wait for it to connect to the Intune tenant and then it will be prompted with the tenant branding it's not the regular windows login prompt that we get here it is now tagged again as our tenant so that's my tenant which is cloudgear.org and I only have an option to log in with my tenant domain, domain account so just as soon as I complete the login process it will start configuring the application what are required part of uh, the autopilot and also the configuration that needs to be done on the Windows 11 machine it can be uh, policies group like the look group policy we've got Intune policies and the application that needs to be part of it and the Windows hello if you configure it this is nothing but the Windows hello prompt I'm going to skip the Windows hello for now and all those settings will be part of the autopilot okay and uh, there will be some of the application that needs to be installed part of the configuration those application will also get installed and we can quickly check that if you go to the account section and access work and school again you will find that this is now joined to the cloud gear Azure Active Directory confirms that this is joined and I logged into this machine as a standard user as we configured it in the, the autopilot profile and you can see the device is now configured let me do a sync on the device and you know that the software distribution which we've done the company portal is now installed and the company portal is where we're going to publish a lot of application from the organization and people can go there and install the application straight from the company portal then let's go back to the the Intune tenant as well as the Azure Active Directory and see how this device now looks like I can see that the device is properly onboarded and it is compliant with the compliance policy and if you go to the Endra ID which is the previous Azure Active Directory and under devices you can see a lot more additional properties and it is clearly showcases that this is now Endra joint machine Azure ready joint Endra joint means nothing but the previous Azure ready joint that's what we configured it in the autopilot profile so, uh, now it, that's all we need to configure it in the Intune tenant in order to initiate the first autopilot device enrollment so you can upload as many devices as you need into the Intune tenant so that it is tagged or logged again as your Intune tenant so wherever the the uh, user goes and reset the device try to log in they will be um, forced to log in with your organization ID I would recommend start configuring your autopilot um, profile and, and start the journey of the cloud device management and it is very very simple and you can do a lot better with autopilot and as you configure it you'll get to know so many features and I'll try and cover some of the other uh, very important things that we do with autopilot in, in the upcoming videos so if you like the video ensure that you can hit on the like button and if you have comments queries related to autopilot do not forget to write down as a comment and i'll try and respond to as many comments as possible and to subscribe the channel with that this is praveen balan signing off and we'll be back with another video very soon till then bye